Karnataka Deputy Chief Minister DK Shiv Kumar has said that there is no water crisis and all is well in the Silicon City. Even though on the ground the situation is very different, there are repetitive instances of uh, residents in trouble, uh, you know, from various posh areas of the Silicon City, including the Whitefield area, which of course is one of the most posh areas of Bengaluru. Citizens have come out talking about the intense and acute crisis that they are facing vis-a-vis -vis water. But politics has broken out. As DK Shiv Kumar made this inane remark, uh, the BJP has hit back at the Congress government. Take a look. As far as Bangalore, there is no water crisis. Only about uh, uh, 7,000 borewells have been dried. But we have made an alternative arrangement for all those things. We have taken control of the water tax. We have identified the water sources. We will see that water will be supplied. And as far as Kaveri is concerned, water is going on everywhere. But being a deputy chief minister, being a responsible minister, is it not his responsibility to address the water issue for the entire state? It's totally, uh, you know, uh, unfortunate and irresponsible attitude of the uh, deputy chief minister. So there in Karnataka saying that it's irresponsible on the part of the Deputy Chief Minister to make a remark like this because, you know, it's not something that the media is reporting. It's something that citizens have come out and talked about and it's not just this but last week but almost for the past two months. We've seen residents of uh, White, the Whitefield area, the Electronic City, all these posh areas coming out and talking about the water crisis. My colleague Pratibha is now joining us live. She's been tracking this story very closely from the ground. So Pratibha, as you have reported in the past, past two weeks, uh, perhaps even more than that, residents from posh areas have come out and said that there is no water. At such a time, the government claiming that all is well will not go down too well with the citizens there. And I see that you have some people. So over to you. I have a bunch of students who come from different pockets of the city, even though I'm in central Bangalore where the water supply is pretty okay and neat. But then most of them complain that when they have to get ready and come from, you know, uh, places that are far off and that remain parched for uh, quite some time now. And that is where the problem really lies because the dependence on groundwater as well as water tankers is where the problem really starts from. One is the overpricing of the water tankers and two is the groundwater levels depleting. Where are you from and how is the water situation there? I am actually visiting Banaswadi and uh, water has been, uh, it has been a really huge crisis last week. Uh, the uh, water, cri water was completely cut down the last week so we had to completely rely on tankers. So even tankers prices have been rises to more than 2500 to 3000. It is completely a uh, very uh, difficult situation for normal families to afford tankers, to afford even water. So. Yeah, it has been I mean, the price of water, I mean, it's only now that you seem to realize the value of it. And uh, the fact that uh, the Karnataka government today, the uh, deputy chief minister, has said that there is no water crisis. Do you feel that the government is in denial? Ma'am, uh, I would say there is a water crisis to an extent, but I won't say it's the, to that level where uh, it's affecting a large scale. But I think government should intervene and it should, you know, better it because uh, when... Next month and all, there's going to be more intense summer, uh, which will uh, require more water consumption. So yeah, I think uh, it's going to the increase of demand will also cause a impact on the water supply. I mean, how do you see the entire politics over water playing out? Because you have the BJP saying that there is press denying the entire thing. This entire politics over wa water, and ultimately, it's the citizens who are suffering. What about you? Uh, Ma'am, I think uh, when it comes to water, the politi politics should be out of it. Uh, you know, water, when there's a demand for water, politicians should keep that aside and, uh, you know, uh, give what people need. Uh, that's what I think. Uh. In fact, when it comes to consumption of water, conservation is also equally necessary. So, uh, how do you conserve water at home? I, I, do you kind of realize that every drop of water needs to be saved? Yes, um, I live in an apartment, so basically uh, we'll have like maintenance bill and everything. So Bangalore is basically known for technology and ITs and all that. So I think conserving water is actually very important because we are facing crisis now and it's already summer and it will be very difficult if we are not conserving water. It, um, I do, we do a lot of um, conservation things at home, like we have like, um, we do have like certain, uh, we have groundwater harvesting and everything, so I think it is important to. And so water. 
So uh, when you see this entire politics playing out and then you have the parched areas where people are still fighting for every drop of water, do you kind of feel let down by the politicians? Okay. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to say like that. Uh, people have the responsibility to take care of the, the daily routine things, what and all they are doing, what and all they are as usually doing in the normal day. They have to take responsibility. So uh, we have to maintain a... I would say we have to take some responsibility to save the water. I am requesting the people to save the water for future as well. Thank you. In fact, uh, this shouldn't be just a lesson that needs to be, uh, you know, put in place or practiced when it comes to the water crisis because all of them seem to think that this will be a temporary affair and that once the monsoon sets in, things will get uh, become all right and, you know, things will go back to being uh, as normal as possible. But then what will happen next year? These are some of the questions that still need uh, some sense of uh, responsibility as well as answers because uh, even though we have uh, people who are conserving water at this point in time, Will this go a long way? Because year on year, you are going to face this crisis. But when it comes to lessons that need to be learned and practiced, that there has to be a long-term lesson that needs to be learned, right? Yes, I think uh, this is going to be a huge issue for a long time because uh, the climate change is a real issue. And every year, the rain, is very, uh, uh, rain limit is very less and uh, the consumption is very, getting, getting very more. And uh, the urban planning and government has to make uh, need to take on swift, ac swift action so that we can have a better uh, supply of water. In fact, the owners shouldn't lie just with the government. Even people must work together to ensure that every drop of water is saved and there would be a long-term solution plan in terms of how to increase uh, the water levels in the reservoirs or for that matter even groundwater. These are some of the steps that really need a lot of understanding with uh, the work of experts that need to be put in place. These are some of the solutions that needs to be looked at so that Bengaluru doesn't have to face this crisis year on uh, year on year so that we remain as peaceful as possible with respect to water as an issue. Back to you. Absolutely, Pratibha. It's a complex issue indeed that has various aspects and, you know, saying that all is well clearly is not the solution and their residents of Bengaluru let down perhaps by what the government there has said. Pratibha, thanks very much for joining us with that Crown Report.